Hello everyone, it's Catherine Art Paper Joy and I am on a mission today. I've got my equipment ready and I am going to start making a journal to practice my hand lettering in. I am going to make a much more labour intensive one but I want a quick one to get going with. I've been using this little book which I got from the works in the UK. It's a simple little A6 sketchbook with cartridge paper in and the paper is surprisingly robust and I have got a spare one, a completely new one of these. But I thought maybe I want something a bit bigger. So I had another delve in my drawer and guess what I found? Yes, <laughs> it's the same one. It's exactly the same one. I think the brand name they've got is Boldmere. And if you're in the UK, you can go to an actual workshop. They're all over the place. Or you can order online and these are really, really good value. You get all this lovely paper in a hardback sketchbook and it's a gorgeous cream colour. And this was £6. I think the little ones are £2. It may have been £4, but it's really cheap. And yes, you can buy all sorts of other sketchbooks. But at my stage of things, I just want something to play in. And I want to make this. I mean, it's quite nice as it is. It's hardback. It's black. It's got a little ribbon to keep in place. It's got some elastic at the back to keep it closed. It did have a little pen holder in elastic, but I've just ripped that off because I'm going to add to the cover. This is going to be a really simple project. I want it to be done and dusted so I can start working in it. Today I'm going to do the messy bit. Well, it's not that messy, but I am going to distress the edges. When I've seen some of the people doing this kind of journal on Instagram, particularly Wendy of Willow Wonders, her sketchbook or her book that she's made, her journal that she's made, has gorgeous decal edges to it and I think it looks so nice. So I'm going to try and reproduce and do a bit of a decal edge on here. Right, I've just zoomed you out a bit so you can see better what I'm doing. I'm just holding the sketchbook with its two hardback pages together or well away from the water that I'm going to put on it. I've added a bit into this tray. This is one of those A4 um, box file holders, really useful for storage. I bought some new ones last week and I haven't filled them all with papers yet. So I thought this makes a perfect little water bath. All I've got in here is plain tap water. And what I'm going to do <laughs> is I'm going to take the edge of the pages, dunk it in the water, give it a quick dry down with some kitchen roll and then attack it with scissors. Here it goes. <laughs> I'm just going to wiggle it around. Yes, lovely. It doesn't go very far up the paper and literally I've put it in and taken it out. So all I've done is dampen the very edges. Might just give it another go. Make sure those middle pages get some of the water on them. So as you can see, I am now attacking the edges of the paper just with some scissors. And because it's now damp along that very edge, I'm able to really rough it up quite well. Just going to do a few pages at a time and then see how we're doing. I think there's a happy balance between getting a very few pages and getting a better effect and it taking ages. Mm -hmm. 
it doesn't create much mess but that has made quite a big difference it's made the paper feel so much more handmade as well and I don't know whether I need to do any more it's one of these things that you know you don't want to go too far but you do want it to have a nice effect now I think that's a great start but I want it to be a bit more intense than that so I'm going on to do stage two I've got my water back again and I'm going to add the last little bit that I've got make it the maximum volume I've got at 500 mils and I am going to add one drop of my tea dye re -inker. I haven't really got anything to stir it with so I'm just going to stir it with the other end of my brush okay one more for look now don't shred in that if you don't mind I've now got a very inquisitive cat who's coming to see what I'm doing and probably wants to drink this water never been known to drink any other water ever but this looks delicious now that it's roughened up and already a bit damp I should get some really good wicking of this tea dyed mixture it's only very pale so I'm putting that in I'm just going to wiggle it around Just pulling off the excess and now I'm going to see what else I can do with this yes, it's quite wet I'm just going to do a few pages at a time be a bit more intense See, I think after stage two, that is much more of the effect that I was after. And if I open the pages now, as if I'm going to work in the book, every page has got more or less a deckled edge. There are some that have sort of escaped. I think the one's in the middle. So I might just do a little bit of remedial, <laughs> remedial distressing. But in general, I think that's great. Now this obviously will now have to dry. And I'm going to leave it overnight to dry. And I'm actually going to hang it up. I'm going to put a piece of yarn or something around the spine. And hang it up so the pages are free and everything can dry out completely. So yeah, I will be back when everything is dry. Show you how it looks when it's dry. And then we'll go on to stage two, which is covering this and making it into something a bit prettier. It's the next day now, and I thought I'll show you how the notebook looks when it's dry. I am so happy with this. I think it's turned out really well. It's just the effect that I was after. And I've just gone with the scissors and done the top and the bottom. So they're not anywhere near as distressed, but they've got a little bit of distressing in there. So I think it all matches up really well. But it's the sides that I wanted to be like that. And it's amazing how much fatter it makes the book at the end. It already looks more like an art journal, doesn't it? However, the black cover, I want to do something about that and I've become a bit obsessed with painting flowers since I did those flowers for those tags I showed you in the last video came out last Friday I think 
and I've been painting lilies. So I've been doing some lilies. And someone actually said to me, I think you need to reconsider your ability in art because I think you're getting better. <laughs> and I think you might be right. Anyway, I've done those and I've done more of those pink flowers from the tutorial from Marta at Marimi Small Art on YouTube. And I have created a digital collage of all my flowers. Yeah, I did a daisy as well. I did an orange one and a blue one. So I've done some papers for those as well. So I've got a new printable pack out. It's launched today and eight full sheets of these flower backgrounds. Now, like I made the tags with the other one, I've been making tags with the orange one. I've already cut these up into some journaling tags with lovely lacy corners and some different shaped tags. I'm going to back some of these with some tea dyed paper and I'll show you them in a different video. But I just wanted to mention this because A, the pack is published today and B, another of the sheets is what I'm going to use to cover this book and make it look much more like an art journal. I've already cut it to size and I've got the various sheets here. I've prepared the front and back cover and the spine by just lightly going over it with my scissors like this. And it looks a bit looks a bit horrendous to do this to your book, but it will provide a better key for the glue. And when I glue my printables on there, I'll get a much better result. And the great thing is, when I'm working in this, if the cover gets a bit tatty, I can recover it with the same paper. I'll just print another sheet out. Now, I've got that for the front cover. So that's going on the front. And then I've got a piece for the spine, which is there. The back cover has the elastic there. So I've cut a, a narrower piece, which I'm going to put on there. So the black of the original cover will show here at the gutter where the page cover opens and on the edge. It'll also show on the inside, but I've cut two more pieces and I'm just going to cover up along there so that covers that little bit of torn end paper where I took the pen holder the piece of elastic for the pen holder out and the same for the front just to make it all matchy matchy I might make this into a little concertina pocket for the front and so I'll just cut a strip of paper fold it into a W and then use that to glue the sides of the pocket so that it can open a bit wider. So I'm going to make sure first I've got everything the same way up. <laughs> I don't think it matters for the spine. And I'm using my Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue. I'm now ready to do my little accordion pocket or concertina pocket, whatever it's called. Um, so I've got my little bit of paper. I've just guessed the size of this. It's the same width as a bit less than the pocket. I might trim it a little bit. 
I'm folding it over twice so that it can form a W and that one just needs to go the other way so there we have the W I'll do another one two W's <laughs> so I'm going to cut these at one end one is shorter than the other anyway so I'm going to cut them both the same and these will glue so that this side is on the page and the top is on the side of the pocket and then the pocket has room to open And of course, need some glue along the bottom to close the pocket. I don't think I'll need to clamp that because I'm going to close the book straight away. But there you see, the pocket is quite roomy. I can be able to get lots of things in there. <laughs> that was a really quick and satisfying project. I already had this sketchbook, which I bought very cheaply from the works. It was a nice sketchbook to begin with. But just this little bit of distressing of the page edges has turned it into something really special and inviting. And I'm going to really enjoy starting to practice my hand lettering and my calligraphy on some hand painted backgrounds. That's what I want to do. I also loved doing the flower painting. So I think that will definitely be a feature of this art journal. If you're interested in picking up the printable pack for yourself to print at home and to use as book covers or tags or journaling cards or whatever you want, there are eight full sheets of different designs and they're available in my shop now and I'll put the links in the description box below. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.